Hi everyone! In this video I will be going over all the updates and improvements we made to Simple Localize in Q1 2025. There have been a lot of changes, so let's go through them and see what's new. The first big update is the command assistant. We've added this feature to help you work in Simple Localize faster and more efficiently. You can open it with the command or control key shortcut and start typing. With the command assistant, you can easily navigate through your projects and quickly access different options. We can, for example, list our project members, we can view their statistics, activity, manage roles and permissions, we can list all of our projects and open them quickly from here, we can run auto translation, view project statistics, for example, list project languages and more. Of course, you can search for a translation key. Like here, you can manage existing translation keys, open them in the editor, you can copy the link to them or delete them as well. Of course, you can create translation keys from here, so it's a quick option. You can uh, filter translations by tag, for example, or namespace. You can adjust the editor view. And of course, you can access our documentation, Swagger, or quickly copy your API key. This is a feature we are very excited about, so if you have any ideas or any actions that you would use uh, in the command assistant, please free to give your feedback and we will be happy to improve it for you. We have updated public suggestions welcome page by adding translation summary per language. User can now choose the language they would like to work on and the system will filter out translations for them by showing only the selected language and the default language. Also, you can now easily filter translations and see only missing translations. You can now decide to which tagged translations your translator users have access to. This way you can limit access to translations assigned to a specific tag. Additionally, you can now create, update and delete tags using the API and also assign tags to translation keys. In the team management section, you can view recent activity of your team members. The dot will show you how long ago the user was active. We have added new access permissions for translators. First to access comments and suggestions and second to change the review status of translations. So now you can restrict access to these features for the translator users. We have added two new options to the export feature. First, to use default translations if the translations are missing and second, to export and then import translations for the selected customer. You can now check the project or user activity from selected month like this and export the details to CSV. Translation hosting tab will now let you check the details of changes that were not yet published to the latest environment, like here. That's all for this video. I hope you like the new features. Feel free to give us feedback and contact us if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.